There's clauses built in the contract. Um, I want to keep Mick at the club as long as I can. I need him fit. I think I trust the medical department we've got at the football club. I trust the coaching staff. I trust the processes we've got in place. We've actually got a history. You guys will probably know be aware of it. Probably taking boys that have got a wee bit of injury prone. or have had a bit of bad luck in their careers. And we've had Sean Kelly for talking to even me Scott Robinson at times. Um, We've brought these boys in and we've put them on special programmes um, and we've got the best out of these players over the years. So we've brought in, as I said previously, players that have had a wee bit of injury problems in their career. Mix was more about, nobody talked too much about it, but uh, it wasn't a muscle injury as such. Um, so with the information we've got on Mick, the, the character that Mick is, I think he's in a good place. He's trained in play some reserve football with Hibs for six months. I think Lee didn't have to use them within those game periods, but it gave Mick a really, really strong foundation to give himself a proper pre-season in terms of he wasn't having to play Premier League football for those six months, but he was in training with Hibs every day, doing everything, playing a bit of reserve team football. So I think that gave him the basis to get his fitness back up to where it needs to be to play in the Premier League. He's came in, I'm trying to manage him a little bit, but spoke to Mick from Saturday onwards. Um, I'll not be managing him anymore. It's about Mick making sure he's available to play in the park, but I've been hugely impressed with his character and hugely impressed with his footballing ability. Since he came into the club, it's been fantastic. A wee bit wrong there. What I mean by that is on a, we've got him tied up to three years with a set amount of games, so he's got the first 12 months. I've got no doubt in my mind he'll go on and he'll hit the clauses very, very easily, and that keeps him at the club another 12 months, so it was about more protecting the club in terms of it's a little bit of a gamble in that sense, but I wanted to put a wee bit of commitment over to Mick and give him a 12 month deal from Livingston, but if he plays a set amount of games, the second year kicks in and the second year plays a set amount of games, the third year kicks on. And it's not an insurmountable number, it's quite an achievable number. So I think for both parties, and I, was, I wanted to be committed to Mick because Mick showed that commitment to me by signing up to Livingston. It's been a wee bit difficult in the transfer market, I'm not going to lie, it's been a difficult window, to be honest. We've had to shave a considerable bit off the budget, which has made recruiting players a little bit more difficult. It's probably made me a little bit more creative in terms of who I'm trying to bring in and where I'm trying to bring them in from. So it's been a difficult window we've lost probably six, seven targets to other clubs within the Premier League. So it's been a difficult window. I'm extremely happy with what we have brought in. I want to be active. I've got another two or three to bring in. It's been the most difficult in terms of when you look at the players we've lost. We've lost. Happens every year. I laugh sometimes when you open the pairs up and a club's lost a big player. We lose three or four every single season. We've got to do a rebuild. So this year alone, just off the top of the head, you've lost Steph and Ovi Enger, you've lost Fitzy and you've lost Nicky, so you've lost three players that played a huge part in the club over the last two, three, four years. Try to replace him is not easy with the finances and the, the, the salaries that these three players were on. I can't even use that to bring other players in because there's been budget cuts, so you've not even got their salary to spend, so to speak. You've lost probably 25% of each one of their players' salary to try and bring someone else in. So it's been a difficult window, but again, very, very used to it. This is how many years in the Premier League, Dave? Six? Six years in the Premier League, and every year's been the exact same, if I'm honest. So, fairly happy where we are as a squad. Uh, Mohamed Sangar, Sangaris came in, Mo's looking very, very good. Uh, Mick Devlin's came in, Mick's looked brilliant, absolutely brilliant, first class. And we brought Miles in as well. Miles is going to take a wee bit of adjustment in terms of that adaptation period coming from non-league England to Premier League in Scotland. There's a wee bit more of the adaptation period in, but Miles was well aware of that when I brought him in. So, with the three signings that's in the building at this point in time, fairly happy, but we do, we do need a wee bit of quality in the building to help the group. And it's not just me, because it's everybody at the club is like challenging. We've got a new chief executive in the building, a new chairman in the building. I lost my strength and conditioning coach, I lost my analyst, my first team analyst, my first team strength and conditioning coach, chairman, chief executive, and then you're looking at losing another four or five players within that, so it's been a difficult process, but it's one it's one we've kind of adapted to every single year, from relegation to League One for the Championship every single summer, 
<laughs> there's always some kind of transitional period where it's upstairs, downstairs in terms of the coaching staff off the park and the players on the park. So it's something you've adapted to it over the year and it's just part part and parcel of the process now. So it doesn't feel really any different to what any other year's been. There's, a, there's an argument that you're busier in the summer. Most people will say, did you get some time off? You might not be in the club, but I wouldn't actually say it's time off. So you go away with the family. We were away, I think it was 10 nights, something along the lines to Greece, but I spent probably three or four hours a day days working on the laptop, on WhatsApp, um, kidding on I'm reading a book with my phone underneath it. Um, just the wife saying to you, you're on holiday, you need to relax, you need to relax, but you don't really. You don't really get a chance to relax. You're probably just doing it in the sun with a wee bit less stress in terms of you can go to bed on a Saturday night and there's not as much pressure. You've not been beating that game of football. You're not overthinking Saturday's game. So you probably your sleeping pattern becomes a little bit better. But again, stress, it's stress and pressures. It's just Premier League football. It's just being involved at elite level football.